Hello, our esteemed viewers all around the world. Uh, it's a wonderful day here, NTA2 Lagos, and this is Sugar and Spice. My name is Christopher N. Morris, and today promises to be a wonderful one. As usual, uh, Sugar and Spice coming your way every wonderful day like this. Uh, I just want to share your week with you. I trust it's been resourceful amidst uh, the challenges here in Lagos, uh, the traffic situation and uh, the rain and the sun. But well, hey, I, I, I sure believe your day has been, your week has been quite resourceful. Um, you're welcome to the show. And um, because today is quite unique, I'm going to do this real quick now. Let's do what we love doing, which is the quick news. But don't forget for family and friends to participate all around the world. It's uh, www.youtube.com slash NTA2 Lagos to join and enjoy participation. Let's go for the quick news. When we come back, the show continues. We'll be right back. It's quick news on sugar and spice. The African Music Magazine Awards Afrima holds its nominee party Saturday, 21st June at Quillux. The award will be celebrating its nominee star's appearance by Two Face, Nyanya, Davido, Whiskey, Timaya, Falipupa, Emanaira, Fino, Bracket, Flavor, and many more. If you Veteran actor Osita Okeke benefits from Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN. The Nollywood actor is the latest beneficiary of the Guild's Benevolent Fund sponsored by President Goodluck Jonathan. Just recently, Nazi of the 80s sitcom New Masquerade, Romano Amuta, who suffered from partial paralysis, was treated at a hospital giving money and food stuff by the Actors Guild of Nigeria, AGN, through the President. Now, AGN President Ibn Abo Fibe Sirima and her team, with the help of the fund, came to the aid of veteran actor Osita Okeke, who was diagnosed with pancreas and prostate-related disease. Osita Okeke and AGN President Ibn Abo Fibe Sirima are both thankful to Mr. President Good luck to Moving on, Amaka Igwe has been laid to rest. The late Nollywood filmmaker was laid to rest on Saturday 14th, 2014 at her marital home, Ndiruche Arundizogu, Imo State. Her service of songs was held June 9th in Ikeja GRA with many celebrities. The video movie producer-director died on April 29th after a long battle with asthma. Oh, the woman with the husband home alone. Kefi's body yet to arrive in Nigeria. The Branama Queen, who died on June 19th of lungs failure after 15 days in coma at Desert Spring Hospital, Las Vegas, is still in a mortuary in Las Vegas. Her husband, Terry Dan Momo, who spoke with her publicist, said they are yet to finish the protocol that will allow them to bring her body home which is usually not a simple process. Meanwhile, Don Momo is said to have been inconsolable since the passing of his wife. He seemed to talk less and is still in shock over the death of his wife. We say, take her down. <laughs> Finally, T.I. threatens Azalea Banks. Rapper Azalea Banks, who has been having beef with T.I. for over two years, this T.I.'s estranged wife, Tiny, after T.I. and E.G. Azalea dropped their new single, No Mediocre. Zilla then tweeted, you want no mediocre, but have you seen your wife? End of quote. On seeing the tweet, T.I. went furious and has threatened to end Azalea if she speaks ill of his family. Instead of backing down, Azalea Banks fired back. That wraps it on quick news. Stay with us. All right, welcome back to the show. Uh, I'm going to take two from that particular quick news for this particular week. Makai Gwe's issue is quite like, a, I don't want to say, I, it's a big loss for us in the industry. And that gap, we just, we just pray and hope someone is going to fill that gap. Pretty, pretty, pretty soon. And um, the second one there from Cafe. The idea is that uh, people are anticipating the body in Nigeria soon, so that uh, we'll know what other uh, rights we're going to take. But we're saying to the families of these noble Nigerians, proactive women to be precise, women championing the cause for change, we're saying our uh, outspread condolence from sugar and spice. And um, 
let's just move it to the other side because that's the idea of the program, trying to spice your day and make sure, hey, whatever it is that actually held you down for the week, we come and we cover the gaps for you. Uh, we're going to be doing something quite uh, interesting this week, like uh, we said, have an issue. Uh, we're going for this particular one now, a profile on the guest that will be coming on the show. Now, he's a unique uh, Nigerian uh, doing a couple of things. And I like to say he's a man with multiple hats. And um, a foremost man once said, uh, if there is anything a man can do well, let him do it. Give him a chance. So we're giving him a chance on Sugar and Spice. Short profile. We'll be right back soon. Hello, my name is David Larry Messo. I'm an innovation strat artist and a business innovation consultant. I'm committed to improving the state of the world by assisting young people achieve their dreams by offering them a support platform for them to be able to enjoy discount opportunities in learning a skill and also enjoying a shopping discount and as well as you know engaging them in an interactive session via an interactive hub where they could meet a lot of young, other young people who have got ideas and then where they can also tap motivation from to be able to achieve their own personal ideas for their own personal dreams and i achieved that by bringing a lot of partners on board to offer them skills that they can actually learn at a 30 percent discount while they come back to me for uh, an, uh, an enterprise development where they'll be able to learn the necessities of getting their ideas off the ground and um, I also ensure that um, I handle processes for them and as a result of this I've been able to reach about 5,000 young people all over Nigeria maybe most of them are from Lagos and also been able to incubate about 11 businesses that have been able to employ at least three people who are currently doing very well and effectively in the business environment. I'm inspired to set up this initiative because of the mass number of unemployed youth I see in my community who are actually wandering about without anything to achieve, whereas they've got, an, got ideas that they could actually turn into a profitable venture. Interestingly, because of the impact of the Yagi initiative, we've been able to evolve into a Yagi energy card viable at any bank in Nigeria in partnership with Oxfam Nova, which we're going to launch next year. Now, this card is going to enable any young person go anywhere to achieve, I mean, to enjoy any of the skills, patronize any product at a 30% discount. This makes it easier for any youth to enjoy. All right. Um yeah, welcome back to the program. Uh, that was actually a little bit deep, but he's actually seated here with us, just for the record. So, in case you want to know, it's uh, DLM. Let me try that. David Larry Messon, that's the name. And there's, uh, there's a key word in his whole profile that actually struck uh, my attention. That is uh, Strat Artist. And we, we know that a lot of uh, young people are doing a couple of things lately, but this particular young man has uh, a multiple hat. That is why on Sugar and Spice today, you're going to be seeing uh, his face, and he's going to give us one, two, three, four, five, couple of things that we should know, and it's going to be empowering too. So let's go for this quick one. When we come back, David Larry Melcher on the show. caught my fancy lately go stars. The single most powerful element of youth is our inability to know what's impossible. The latter can be ascertained in David Larry Messon, also known as DLM, a business plus social innovator and idea strategist with interest in enterprise development, technology, entertainment, food processing, all tailored towards economic empowerment sustainable livelihood and job creation. Over the years, he has developed ideas that have become profitable venture for over 100 active young entrepreneurs in Nigeria, employing so about 500 staff and Amazon. raising over $480,000 in startup capital to aid their business growth. In 2012, he was appointed David, David Larry Larry Larry. I mean Youth Enterprise with Innovation in Nigeria Mentor by the Federal Government of Nigeria, where he's currently mentoring our deeds on how to grow and build sustainable businesses. Let's have a close-up on him. Hey, 
It's very good to have you on the show. Yeah, I'm excited to be on your show today. Wow. <laughs> um, where do I start? Let me start from Strat Artists. Yeah. Uh, you know, these days, because um, there is this uh, change, there is this trend, young people are coming up with creative ideas. I, I don't want to start doing what we usually do here on the show because we want to hit it really hard today. But just tell us, Strat Artists, idea, you call yourself a tank tinker, a team tank, a, a whole lot, a whole lot, please. Yeah. I, I just want to ask you, Leap I mean, Africa, yeah. Larry Messon, tell us, where is the meeting ground? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that, that we've got many parts to the brand DLM and who David Larry Messon is, actually. Um, first of all, I'm an idea strategist. I'm also an artist and a model. But um, uh, more of an idea strategist I am. And then the combination of strat artists is something I had to create. I'm more of a creator. I, I, okay. I believe I believe that's an idea person. You have to be able to create. Okay. You have to be able to innovate. And yes, that's what I'm going to ask oh. the lady over there. <laughs> uh, she She's more like a success story from the doorstep of your noble brand. Okay? And we're going to be listening to her in the course of the program. But one step into what you're doing I, I had the cost to uh, do a couple of R&D on your presence on uh, Leap Africa and how that is actually a springboard for you and you're doing a lot now. But, but let's go into what actually uh, is the big one for us on Sugar and Spice. You win and you mentoring, you win our deeds. Please tell us about it. Of course, um, um, it's, an, it's a very great one that the government is beginning to recognize the potential of young people and see how much they can actually support these young people to become, um, you know, uh, providers of job in the marketplace, and then to also add to our competitiveness and productivity in the marketplace out there. And for me, as a young person, I feel that the young people of um, the Nigerian system has been left in the dark for a very long time, and now it's that the light is beginning to show up on them, and the government is beginning to recognize that fact that, see, we've got to actually create an enabling environment for these young people okay. to thrive and grow, okay. so that uh, they can begin to become like a force to reckon with when it comes to economic growth. And uh, that's why it's important that, um, I mean, through the, 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 the strategy of um, you win, they appointed young people like us who okay. are kind of success in business, well, success stories in business, right. where we can actually share these lessons of our own successes and our challenges All right, All right Mr. Larry. To Mr. Go. Larry, I actually, uh, we're going to be asking you about the transparency of, of you win, but where does she come into play now? Let's hear you tell us about what particular brand, because you have a couple of brands running, like two, three brands. Well, we like have that, much more. Yeah. I mean, we've got a lot of brands running, but okay. um, the very most important brand that we want to focus on is called the Yagi. I okay. mean, the and she's putting on the Y, so you can yeah, yeah, yeah. about it. Yeah, yeah, she's a Yagi community manager. She interfaces with um, um, Yagis at the low le lower level by, in, I mean, motivating them, inspiring them with skills that they need to actually move to the next force, uh, next level. The key thing about Yagi actually is to help create that enabling environment for young people to become entrepreneurs and also employ themselves because we realize that um, if you look at the statistics we have about 40 million unemployed young people today in the world and in nigeria basically and then if you also look at um, the statistics of young people who are not financially inclusive you realize that um, we have about 40 million young people who have account and about only 10 million are actually operating their account and mm. that is appalling when you say account you mean yeah. bank account yeah bank account so we are okay. trying to see how we can actually merge you know financial inclusiveness with um, creation of jobs through entrepreneurship mm -hmm. and how do we want to do that I want to first of all bring young people onto a community and also enable them to actually learn skills at a discount you know shop at a discount and also engage in digital job creations i mean where you can actually all spend right. that same time that you spend chatting away chatting with your friends and the rest of it to actually earn right. income for yourself via the internet L let's have you just do uh, 30 seconds for we'll go for this break now what have you been doing with Yagi? Start from telling us your name. Um, my name is Onimola Temitope. Yes. I'm a um, Yagi community manager. Right. My, uh, my role in the community is just to recruit more members to, um, to the platform Yagi, yeah. to motivate them, to enable them, activate their dreams. And this, um, this has to do with me just talking to them to learn skills which Yagi is encouraging and empowering, which um, also um, 
give me opportunity to talk to DLM himself okay. to create these opportunities for these youths that are in need of this. All right, community. so in other words, you deal more with the community now. So yes. um, we're talking about um, empowering at the grassroots level here, and we have a noble Nigerian in the studio with us on the, uh, the show today. Let's go for this quick break. When we come back, DLM, David Larry Meso on Sugar and Spice. Me on sugar and spice on NTA2. Love you. All right, um, you're welcome back to the show. Um, Larry, let's talk about uh, what you have for the Nigerian public and how. Let's start from there. What you have for the Nigerian public? Looking at 2014 moving forward, please. Okay, for the Nigerian market, my focus, if you, if, you, if you have actually looked at my story from where I started, how I broke into the market space, and I must give credit to Leap Africa for being one of the organizations that have actually given me that leverage to come into the marketplace. And um, I also appreciate the fact that they were able to empower us with leadership skills to be able to impact our direct communities, which we've been able to scale onto you know, beyond Ni Nigeria, the continental level. But the key thing, my own focus, is to deal with the problem of unemployment. Okay, that's what I'm going to ask you this question. And I must now. be very frank with you. Yes. And I know that um, it's not just about talking about making young people employable. All right. Because um, if you are talking about employability, you know, you need to also think about the entrepreneurship angle of it. Okay. You understand? And for me, I, I see, I, I see a lot of young people out there, and. Um, it's uh, beyond the fact that they go to school and get their certificate right. and they go to certain employability programs. They've also got ideas. Okay, got that's what I'm going to ask you the question on, that's what I'm going to ask you the question on yeah. you win. Youth enterprise with innovation in Nigeria. Yeah. Let's have you do an evaluation. How transparent is that particular uh, idea vis-a-vis -vis other TV reality shows that have to do with business, please? No, no, Toby, I mean, for me, <laughs> see, any, any, if you can actually survive, the competition and get into the 1,200 that get yeah. the fund and a maximum of 10 million and then downwards, you 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 must have actually worked hard. Okay. Trust me. So what is the uh, yardstick for getting a, a you win award from the federal government of Nigeria? Of course, it, the yardstick is for you to apply to. I mean, the, there is always this announcement, you know, that is made where people get to apply for you win and then the okay. first pool they pick about 5,000 or 6,000. And then they come for a training at the Pan African University, and afterwards they write in the proper business plan. Now you do well, mentoring. Yeah, I do you do mentoring, mentoring yeah. of uh, this award recipient. Tell us your experience and how has this impacted the Nigerian GDP? Because you're, we're churning out entrepreneurs. Yeah, of course. If, if you if you look at the Nigerian GDP today, I mean, it's it's it's, it's uh, we have actually gotten up there. But the SME market, the SME sector, is one that will, you know, will really contribute to national economic development okay. and trust me on them um, we the if you look at we've done about two yeah you wins now you win has done like two now yeah and they're on the third, the third so one, if you yeah. put that cumulatively you're going to have three thousand six hundred entrepreneurs and then say that again three thousand six hundred entrepreneurs. entrepreneurs out there because obviously they are running businesses and then um, you have to look at them um, the direct impact that they are going to make in terms of creating jobs okay yeah so then i can assure you that um, at least one of i think those i employ i mentor okay. yeah, so have at least five staff and this five star just imagine we are going to look at that on the average by the 3600 young yeah. entrepreneurs that we have out there you will see that right. the youth population is beginning that you see that there is this level of growth mm -hmm. in terms of creating employment for people okay. you get but looking at it vis-a-vis -vis, i think there is still more that needs to be done thank you very much more needs to be done i will just ask you now to just take a deep breath because when we come back you tell us as a female interacting with women when you get to the community your experience we'll be right back after this time out First, take it back, cause now they rap for commerce. They know I'm dope, no hope, industry never honest. You skimming Pharisees, put the cross upon us. My flow is retribution, I spit it on the foreigners. And so I'm burning any mic to leave the mercury. So get an Oscar acting like you never heard of me. I spit it heavily, I'm ripping rappers verbally. I'm flowing like I'm curing Alzheimer's, you must remember me. So all aboard, you applaud Chinese metaphors. The flow is grown like there really ain't a Santa Claus. But heavy fire that I'm spitting needs a chimney. 
It's different like I'm freaking switching up the scenery. Ignite the blast mics like fire the gas pipes. Spewing the syllables, elevating like five mics. Fresh like a past life. Running up just like his haters. In a game by effort, you could play this. Uh, okay, okay, you know I plays around a little bit, but when it comes to the microphone, I rips it into little bits and pieces. They be like Jesus, double flow, so infinite. He drops some more bombs. That boy should be a nuclear physicist. Damn, okay, okay, you know I ruined it. I ruined it. New to the game, but see what I'ma do with it. Do with it. Virgins, they ain't used to it. Dropping ooze and arse to it. The arsonist, I burn it up. Yo, yeah, I'm trying to turn this up. The celebrate, but don't give a f. Game locked down, no need for cuffs. Have to explain why the boy is hot. See, I got something they ain't got. Don't know what it is, but this what it is. But it comes my phone. I handle my bits, do for the heads, and I do for the kids. Yeah, I do for the heads that I get from the kids. Boys, the truth, never tell them. Flip hip hop's alive right here on this bus. Have changed my address, have dumped it down for me. This dress is cut tough, cut to my rock south, some of that to that for the mathematics. Fact is, my taxes be the baddest MC on the planet. I'm have this life on the fast lane. I'm living life on the fast lane. DLM in the studios with us, Sugar and Spice, this wonderful day. And uh, the young lady there, let's let's just have you do 30 seconds of uh, interacting with women. Hmm. Somebody, a uh, foremost man, will say, if you uh, empower or educate a woman, you educate a nation, please. Tell us. Trust me, the person is very, very right. Because uh, my work as a um, Yagi community manager has really, um, really helped me to relate with women. And I've really gone... Their, their interest in all of this is very, very interesting because they, are, they all want to do something. They all want to be entrepreneurs. They all want to have money in their accounts. They all want to have some mouth in the, in the society. They all want to be there. Okay. So me interacting with them is like the very best okay they are really willing to give all their best to do everything okay. they are willing to do anything their part to right. Right. to become entrepreneurs and to become made in society oh thank you very much for that uh, that, that means um dlm with with due respect uh, sugar and spice is going to be closing up on you because there is more to your sleep than what we're seeing now and that is how i'll quickly switch to this other divide now where we'll do the people review quickly uh, because um, tick tock, you know how it works <laughs> um, uh, on the show. So I, I have a couple of stories here, and I just want to ask a few questions too. Um, fears as soon as one was to collapse again. Now I'm not asking you that. Whiskey unites with love at Tanya. Let me ask you, Whiskey, coming yeah, back to yeah. this popular story. Yeah, what yeah. do you think? Of course, I mean, <laughs> for me, uh, I already say like um, people have issues in life. Okay. And um, when people have issues, they 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 be at loggerheads. Everybody is bitter, yeah. and everybody goes back. And with time, everything just winds down. And with time, everything <laughs> winds down. And that's why we're about winding down on the show. Now. That's, that's actually, this, this, this one last one here. Why I hid my love child? Fight with Don Jazzy, the bench. That's what we're actually uh, signing it out. Don Jazzy, the bench. I just want to ask. Uh, do you have a fair knowledge of what is transpiring uh, among um, these guys? At all, I, I don't. You don't, right? I don't. David, David Larry, please tell us. I really, I don't even know when all this happened, but. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that's, why, that's why it's a place. So, I think we're supposed to get that, but, but before we go from, from, from today's show, yeah. I just wanted to uh, look into the camera and um, say something to the wonderful Nigerians that are viewing us on different platforms, Sugar and Spice. Yeah, right now it's about Yagi, trust me. And I must also tell you that Sugar and Spice has actually made it possible for us to be here today. But more importantly, I believe together we can actually build a better Nigeria. And um, through Yagi, we believe that um, you can become that entrepreneur that can actually lead change for self and for community. Wow. Don't ever think about yourself only. Okay. Think about the community. And you can actually log on to www.yaggyen. E R G I E dot com. That is right. Yagi Energy dot com wow. and sign up and become part of the Yagi community. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, uh, sure. For us um, here on the studio, uh, from the entire production crew, we're saying thank you very much for keeping it today with us on the show. 